What is it, big guys? It's Violet Taylor here, and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can see, we are continuing the item shop switch over. This will be taking us from Tuesday into, no, sorry, Wednesday into Thursday early morning. I don't know why I thought it was Tuesday. But anyway, guys, we had some really, really cool items returned last night. We had the return of the Marked Man bundle. We also had the return of the Stormlight bundle. And we had some really damn cool items in the daily store. But what we're going to get tonight in... Three, two, one, let's go! What we got? Ooh! Now, I did know this was coming. I just didn't know how they were going to drop it. But as you guys can see, we have the collaboration between Fortnite x Pac-Man. Now, let's jump straight in. So we have an emote and we have some battlings. So let's start off with the emote. Pac-Brained. Waka waka. Cheese! That is sick. That is cold. No way, that is sick! <laughs> that is so cold! That is, nah, that is, that's mad. Guys, yo. You never thought you would see it, but Fortnite smashes it every time. Anyway, moving us on to the reactive Pac-Man Bapling. Respect the classics. Part of the Pac-Man set, first introduced in Chapter 3, Season 2. Batbling transforms when taking damage or while knocked down. Ah, Batbling reacts to movement. That's cool. That's a cool one. So, it actually, yeah, Batbling actually changes when you take damage and it's reactive to when you get shot when, you da when you're taken down as well. And it reacts to movement as well. We've got the Pac-Man. We've got the Blinky. We've got the Pinky. Inky. And then we've got the Clyde. Oh, sorry, is it side, slide? Yeah, side. Anyway, pretty damn cool. Um, if you guys don't know, Pac-Man was originally called Puck-Man. Um, but they just never thought that like a hockey puck would, um, you know, suit the term. So his name's actually Puckman. Or Puck, yeah, yeah. It's like a hockey puck, Puckman. Anyway, moving away from that collaboration, which is pretty damn cool. I can't believe this has happened, even though I'm actually excited that it has happened. Again, I didn't know about it. I just didn't know when it was dropping. Anyway, moving us on to the featured store. We have the return of the Vix skin. A true cat assassin always lands on her feet. Part of the cat assassin set. First introduced in Chapter 2, Season 2. You already know that was the um, spy season. Anyway, we've got various different styles. So we've got the default. We've got the black version. We've got the grey version. And then we've got the red version, which looks pretty damn cool like this you can have alternate style as well where you can have the hood on or the hood off just in case you know you wanted to see her uh, beautiful face anyway moving us on to the turn of the bat bling we have the whisper sorry whisker pack battle kitty approved again we've got some pretty damn cool um alternates we've got like i love the fact that we've got a grenade on the side there as a keychain um and then we've got like a sword on the left that would be cool if she had the harvesting tool anyway well, she has got a harvesting tool, but that would be pretty cool if we could take that off our back. Anyway, we've got the default. We've got the black. We've got the grey. And we've got the red. Looking very cool. Moving us on to a, a built-in emote, we have the spin out. Don't forget to pose. Pretty much, uh, you can switch between the... Um, Selectable styles by using the built-in emote. It can be used, obviously, during the match as well. So if you guys are going for like a challenge where you want to, you know, get a win with, get like each time you get a kill, you switch um, styles, which would be a pretty damn cool challenge. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the per axe. It's very happy. So we've got the default. We've got the black version. We've got the grey version, which I think is absolutely dope. Last but not least, though, we have. The red version, which just adds that little bit more spice because it looks like you've got a red hot blade. It looks like you've got a searing hot blade there. But yeah, pretty damn cool. Again, love the fact that we got like a keychain at the bottom there. Anyway, moving on to the return of the Galaxy Pack. And I could swear to God, we had this literally days ago. Didn't we have this days ago? Because I even brought up the fact about the harvesting tool again. I could have swore we had this days ago. Fortnite's been doing that recently, I've been sensing. They've, they've been giving us items that we've been having a lot recently. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the daily store. We've got quite a, quite, quite a small item shop tonight. Anyway, we have the return of the Cabbie Jonesy. 
first to the fair, first to the finish line. Part of the race that Roy Al set, first introduced in the OG Season 7. Pretty damn cool. Got like a nice little uh, taxi driver Jonesy. Moving us to the return of the Scorpion skin. Beware the Stinger. First introduced in OG Season 5. Looking very sand camoed out. I do like it. I do like it. Anyway, moving us away from this. We have the return of some pretty damn cool emotes. Starting us off, we have the return of the Crazy Feet. Wild and Crazy Feet. Jeez! Yo! First introduced in OG Season 6. Moving us on to the return of the Capoeira emote, which I purchased recently. I finally got it. Are you ready to dance with danger? First introduced in OG Season 5. Jeez! We got the return of the How Sweet Icon Series emote. This one, I can't lie, it's very weird, but I like it. Hope you saved room. First introduced in Chapter 3, Season 2. Jeez! We've got the return of the On Your Mark emote. I need to get this one for my flash skin. Don't forget to stretch. On your marks, get set, go! Anyway guys, pretty much that was the end of the featured and um, daily store. Moving on to the return of some bundles that we will have had introduced maybe last night. Uh, we would have had over the last week. You guys do have until the 3rd of June to get this old Mega Knight level up quest pack done. So you guys have got until Friday, so you've got like another 24 hours. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the Obi Juan Kenobi. Still in the item shop. I believe he is disappearing soon though. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend grabbing him in the next day or so because you don't want to lose out on grabbing him um, for a while anyway. Moving us on to the return of the Master Chief. Then we have the Kato Marcus bundle. We have the Emergence Gear Bundle. And as you guys can see at the corner of your eye, we have the return of the Banner Brigade skin set. So, pretty much self-explanatory. You have the Banner's Bravest, which is four female skins. You have the Banner's Boldest Bundle, which is another four skins, which are male. Pretty much any kind of um, banner icon you have in your um, locker, you can pretty much use on the skins. Pretty much is what you're seeing now. Some of them do, some of them do come with their own little um, colours as well. So you've got like a, well, actually no, uh, the colour takes on place of whatever colour you use in the banner icon as well. So yeah, pretty damn cool. But yeah, we got some really really cool skins in here. We've also got the banner gear bundle, so you can have your banner on a back bling, which I have um, the island flipped one. And this is a pretty cool back bling, actually, to use for this skin. I might use this. Anyway, we've got the banner shield. We've got the emblematic carbs and tool. We've got the emote, the banner wave. We've got the glider, the custom cruiser, which looks pretty damn cool. And then last but not least, we can have it on a wrap, which looks pretty damn cool. I already own the wrap because, again, it's pretty damn cool. But anyway, guys, you do have the items that you can buy singly if you all guys only want to buy a Pacific skin. But yeah, you can also buy the um, Banner Gear Bundle items singly as well, because I might get the cape and the shield. Um, I had them on my old account, but, you know... I haven't had them on this account yet. But anyway, guys, that was pretty much the item shop switch over for tonight. Taking us from uh, Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. Pretty damn cool items. I mean, we've got the brand new Pac-Man items in the item shop. Man, what a time to be a gamer. Literally, what a time to be a gamer. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. If you guys like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't like... If you, oh, my God. If you didn't like the video... Let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like the video. Are you actually happy that we've got Pac-Man crossed over with Fortnite now? Do you think that this shouldn't happen? Intrigued to find out what you guys' thoughts are on this. But anyway, guys, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join team. Let's catch a vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get no follow soon as I upload. But more importantly, don't forget to stay vibey and I'll catch you all in the multiverse. Peace.